If you ever ripped your pants in kindergarten, you're gonna like this video. Because today, we're looking at people who accidentally put the puck in their own net, or they're just falling out of carelessness at inopportune times, or goaltenders allowing goals from a long distance off of harmless looking shots. So, if you haven't alluded to it already, we're watching the most embarrassing moments in hockey. We're gonna start us off strong here with the Ottawa Senators' Magnus Perjarvi. Now, scoring a goal is probably the best feeling you can have in a hockey game. And the celebration usually just adds to the enjoyment. But hey, not this time. Perjarvi loses his balance and falls, just as he's about to go do with Sally. <laughs> Next, the actual goal is the embarrassing part. For the goalie, that is. The New York Rangers' Chris Kreider fans on this shot attempt. It is a horrible whiff and hey, it happens, man. But despite this puck sliding so slowly along the ice, it still finds its way through the pads of the Minnesota Wild goaltender and into the back of the net. Now, I'm sure that this goaltender is looking for a hole in the ice to crawl into. She's put up drive by Truba, save, tap it, It's one thing to fall during the game, but in this situation, there's 11 players on the ice, alongside with referees and linesmen, and there's actual action going on. So, it is quite another thing to lose your balance when you're the only one on the ice and the center of attention. This is the case here as the Dallas Stars Miro Heiskanen wipes out and almost immediately while competing in the fastest skater portion of the skills competition during the NHL All-Star Weekend. And then we're talking about the flower, who falls through the door as he's coming out onto the ice. Not only that, but it happens before the opening game of the Stanley Cup Final. At least, he waited a little bit for the big audience for this embarrassing moment. Standings, but this is the team, and Marc-Andre Fleury leading his team out took a tumble onto the ice. Here's another pre-game tumble, as the Rangers' Leas Anderson hits the slippery deck right as he's introduced during the pre-game introductions. I don't think this was part of the pre-game script. Leas Anderson! But then, there's this. Tipping goals happen all the time in the NHL, let's just be honest here. But usually not when the shot is taken all the way from the opposite end of the ice and the tip occurs in the neutral zone. But believe it or not, that's the case here as the shot eludes the Philadelphia Flyers goalie. Here he goes, bidding for one. Here's the clear, here it is, he scores! The opposite is the case in this next one. It sure looks like a goal for the Ottawa Senators' Eric Condra, who gets the puck in front of a wide open net. But, almost impossibly, his shot does not go into the net, but hits the goal post. Condra is certainly upset and embarrassed. Shot to Foligno, the Condra! How did he miss the open goal? Sometimes, just sometimes, players do too much. Such as in a Boston Bruins goaltender of Tuka Rask who commits to one side. That allows the partially deflected and harmless looking backhand shot to slide past him and into the back of the net. Looks like he was gonna go forehand and then he slightly just moves this puck to his backhand and buries it. Okay, we're talking about basketball now. Breaking someone's ankles is something you should be proud of and if it happens to you, you should be ashamed of. But to old poor Andre Cogliano, Steven Stamkos does him dirty. Because not only does Cogliano go crashing into the board, but second later, Steven Stamko scores on the rush. Now this one is what we're talking about when we say NHL embarrassing moments. Gaping back up the wing of Stamkos, he scores! And this one ain't about a player, but a team. The Toronto Maple Leafs, of course. It used to be that NHL teams could only dress two goalies for a game, but in this case, they were both injured. 
my gosh. I'm sure every Hurricanes fan is thinking, is Morozik okay? And since each team was required to have an emergency backup goalie available at each game, if both goalies from one of the teams were unavailable to continue, the emergency backup goaltender had to appear. And in this case, the Carolina Hurricanes led the Maple Leafs 4-1, but both of their goalies were injured. So what happens? The emergency backup in Toronto that night, the Zamboni driver, David Ayres, who had only played as high as Junior B by the way, got his opportunity to shine. They did get two goals on the 42 year old, but somehow David Ayres beat the Toronto Maple Leafs in his own city 6-3. Number 90 will live on for the Carolina Hurricanes. Ayres was so impressive that Toronto fans were cheering for him. And for the Leafs, oh, 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 you don't even want to, oh, just cut the replay footage. This next embarrassing moment was contained to one would-be tough guy. And that is the Calgary Flames' Dion Phaneuf, as he's about to fight the Vancouver Canucks' Jarko Ruto. Phaneuf loses his balance and falls onto the ice. Kind of like he was KO'd before even having a punch. And unfortunately, as a Flames fan, this is embarrassing to watch. Now he comes back. <laughs> this fall, by the St. Louis Blues, Patrick Berglund comes as he tries to take a simple clapper. I'm sure after this fall, he heard about it a couple times from his buds. He's got it. Okay, good position. During his career, it was a common occurrence for the Detroit Red Wings' Pavel Daksu to dazzle opponents with his stick handling. Well, this time it's Loger Kucher's turn as Datsuk leaves him sprawled onto the ice. Oh my oh my, it's like what did he just do to me? Goaltenders probably should not watch the next two embarrassing moments because they both feature long shots going straight to the cage. On the first one, the Toronto Maple Leafs puck stopper Vesta Toscala was a baseball infielder. He would probably get an error on this bouncing shot from Toronto's offensive zone as it skips past Toscala and into the back of the net. Curling fashion, the sweeper gets there and it bounces by. I mean, you gotta put your body in front. If that embarrassing moment for a goaltender was like baseball, this one is like pool or billiards because the Los Angeles Kings' Jonathan Quick moved a bit too quickly as this bank shot got by him from the other end of the ice. Kind of reaches up saying, hey, I got no glove here. That goes off the shoulder, off the bar, off the stick of Yamamoto. Now, there's nothing embarrassing about this goal, but Montreal Canadiens' Nicolas Delorier makes it embarrassing when he falls during a celebration. And being the toughest guy in the NHL at the time, he probably wasn't too fond of that. It was the first pick. Drew was the third pick that year by the Tampa Bay Lightning. Next up is a case of attempted generosity leading to embarrassment. Colorado's Blake Comu has a breakaway, but instead he wants Mr. McKinnon right behind him to get the goal scoring opportunity. So, Comu tries to drop the puck back, but an opposing defender swoops in from absolutely out of nowhere to intercept the pass. Oopsie dazzy. Behind there, he knows he's with him, but he forgets line is there as well, coming back on the play. I don't think you'll ever see that again. Here, the Nashville Predators' David Legwin gets caught with his pants down. But not just once, not just twice, or even three times. But four. Oh, Anaheim Ducks, Bobby Ryan absolutely diesels this guy. Ooh, what a goal by Bobby Ryan. These hands are remarkable. First, Legwood loses the puck in the neutral zone to Ryan. So then, Ryan makes a move past Legwood, who also loses his stick. But Legwood does not give up on the playoff. A hard grinder he is. But Ryan makes yet another move past Legwood and deposits the puck in the net. Wow, you would not want to be Legwood after that. Look at Merkley, high slot scores! Ryan Merkley! 
You would also not want to be Minnesota Wild's Ryan Hartman as he is faked to the ice by a Mr. Mercar himself. At least, Hartman only took himself out of the play. I'm sure that the call was going to go against Kale McCarr. The, the original call was for sure because of the hit on Hartman. The Pittsburgh Penguins' Ryan Whitney slipped, also taking out goaltender Marc-Andre Fleury, who had gone to the corner in an attempt to play the puck. Oh boy! You want to talk about things going wrong, there is what epitomizes the Penguins play right now. And as you said, Jeff, if whatever can go wrong, will go wrong. <laughs> but all Stamkos can do here is blame himself as he loses the puck and then falls on this shootout attempt. He gets back to that puck, he can still shoot it, but he can't even get an edge to get back up. Here, Dallas Stars goaltender Ben Bishop loses his stick in OT. So he decides it's a pretty good idea to grab Wayne Simmons' twig instead. Bishop then gives up on trying to take Simmons' stick just in time for the game-winning overtime goal to fly past him into the net. Talk about being caught red-handed. It. it was hard for the San Jose Sharks' Dan Boyle to live this one down. He ends an overtime playoff game by accidentally backhandling the puck into his own net from the corner. Instead of his stick, the Washington Capitals' Dmitry Orlov uses his hand to bat the puck past his goalie, Brayden Holpe, and into his own net. You see the puck and then he just, you want to get it out of the way and he just puts it right into the net. But one of the most all-time embarrassing moments and gaffes has to be by the Edmonton Oilers, defenseman Steve Smith. He puts an end to this 1986 OT playoff game and this series against the best team in the world, the Calgary Flames, because he accidentally, quote unquote, I think he's a true Flames fan, but I'm just saying, put the puck off of Grant Fur into his own net. So, there you have it. The most embarrassing moments in hockey. Which was your favorite? Did we miss any? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you think this was a good video, don't be a bender. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Help the algorithm. Help us grow. And see you next time.